And a former Citrus Heights police officer is blowing the whistle on that department. Uh, he has filed a, th a formal complaint claiming that he was fired because of the way that he looks as an African-American officer. He says the department has no right to let him go, and he's hoping by speaking up, it can be the start of positive changes that he says are definitely needed. Fox 40's Jeannie Nguyen is live in Citrus Heights with that story and how the department is responding tonight, Jeannie. Eric, that officer only worked here at the Citrus Heights apartment for a couple of months before he was put on leave and then ultimately let go. He says this all started because of a false claim and when he did have the proof to show that he wasn't in the wrong, he said his bosses inside this building here refused to listen to him. I do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. This day. To support and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States was a dream come true for 24-year-old Redekel Dupree. We need way more black officers. You know, I think um, I was trying to be a role model for young black men to step up and, you know, c police their own communities too. But as quickly as his career with the Citrus Heights Police Department began, it ended just as fast. Within two months of his new job, Dupree says the mother of his children filed a false police report in July 2021, claiming he had been physical with her. She said like a year or two prior that day, I pushed her before, but I never have. The next day, Dupree was put on leave and was the target of an internal affairs investigation within his department. Soon after, his children's mother admitted it was all a lie. This police report shows she later took back what she claimed, but Dupree says the damage was already done and he was let go from his job. It's like my whole world just shattered because I don't just do this for me, I do it for other people, but I also have two daughters that I have to raise and stuff too. And just last week, Dupree went back to the department to try to show Sergeant Sean Gualco proof that he was cleared from any wrongdoing. He said, yes, I'm angry because we're not interested in helping you. Things then took a turn following his conversation with the sergeant. He literally fell through with his threat that day and put me on a Brady index to literally keep me out of law enforcement. The Brady list is essentially a database for police misconduct. Because he's on the list, Dupree says he hasn't been able to get a job within law enforcement. At this point, he believes it happened because of the way he looks. That's retaliation and threat. You know, I think that should be taken very seriously. A spokesperson for the police department wouldn't do an interview with Fox 40, but did say the department doesn't comment on personnel matters and any actions taken is for legitimate and non-discriminatory reasons. On top of that, the department is an equal opportunity employer. I just want them to do what's right. I'm not a bad person. Now we tried to ask the department how many officers they have on staff and how many of those are African American, but a spokesperson wasn't able to provide us with that information in time. Live in Citrus Heights, covering local news that matters. Jeannie Nguyen, Fox 40 News.